How's a clubbing forearm? <laughs> You're right. Oh! What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel today. I got something very special, I say that all the time, but for real, special guest today. I've been a big fan of for a long time, back in the Strike Force days. This dude has fought at heavyweight, 205, 185, and now 170. This dude is dynamic, he's a knockout artist, and we're gonna actually talk and break down his last fight. My man, Lorenz Larkin. Get over here at the monsoon. Your last fight was epic, man. And he stole the show, knocked the dude out in the first round, and this guy was a heavy wrestler, kept yep. the fight standing. Kind of talk us through that, that first round. I mean, it only lasted one round, but still. Yes. We're gonna get into little details on the elbow in a second, but. Uh, so kind of the background on it is uh, that was a rematch. The first fight ended in a no contest due to a legal elbow. So, <laughs> I know, right? Fast forward, you know, we get a rematch. I got that knockout by the elbow. By elbow? Uh, by the elbow. Kind of talk us through what happened and what led up to the elbow. The start of the fight, I'm an orthodox fighter. Okay. But I came out south Paul. He switches sides. That's what makes him so dangerous. Yeah, Most so people, people don't do it. So, when I first came out, I was, because he, he starts out south Paul too. So, when I go south Paul, that allows me to attack Boom. the cat, right? Gotcha. I threw a couple kicks, but he was real herky jerky and he's coming in with super power shots. He's not really a fluid fighter. Yeah. So when you got guys that are kind of herky jerky, you don't want to meet them so much because yeah. they have so much power and they they tend to just jerk a lot. So then you're you start reaching for things yes. and, and you start awkward. getting like this. It's awkward fighters. Yeah, it's very awkward. So for me, I was just trying to get away from the herky jerkiness of it and slow it down and bring the fight closer. So then I can get my shots off instead of playing the outside game, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. He's turkey jerky. Yeah, you don't wanna be against the game like that. Yeah, kind of brings another element that most people don't think about when it comes to the fight game, like how cerebral it is out there, right? And that's something that you probably felt that a little bit the, the first fight, but kind of had to, had to adapt a little yeah. bit mid fight uh -huh. to be able to close the gap and land the strike that you wanted to land. So then, yeah, so then from that, I stayed southpaw and I came in with a hard jab but I close, I, I start honing in a little closer and that return, it stopped him from being herky-jerky and then he's kind of playing my game now. Gotcha. So then from there, I landed a hard jab, I came out and then uh, went back to orthodox. <laughs> I like the switching, baby, yeah, I so love it. From there, what created the knockout was, it's kind of a little pat down jab. I came like this, but as I came, he came with the check hook, but obviously the jab is gonna land before the check hook does. So I came here and he threw his jab and we ended up like this. When we ended up like this, he went for the body and I came up here to create the space because I know he wants to get in Got that close frame. to me. Got that frame. So then from here, I'm gonna switch my hips and I'm gonna turn him. So then it was here. And oh, then I oh, have my oh. C-clamp right here. Important guys, important for the C-clamp. Oh, super important. So when I turned him, I'm here and it's just, it's almost just like, this is gonna stick, this, this is stapled down, and I'm gonna come over. Oh. I tell people this all the time. Places where you hit guys in the face, like jaw, I've been hitting the jaw, I was out cold. But I've been hitting the temple and the ear. It's like the temple makes you do jerky, weird stuff, and getting hit by the ear, it gives you like jelly legs. It's weird, when I mean, you hit that dude yeah. right in the temple, yeah. he just, he shook a little bit and went and just face planted. So we'll speed it up a little bit, how about that? Okay. So, let's go back this way. So I come in with the jab, boom. We end up like this. He goes for the body, I turn. Oh, 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 oh. Do I do the face stop. plan? Should I do the face plan? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. When you spun the guy, your shoulders were almost in a complete line to give you that maximum power. A lot of times when guys circle out, they'll square up to their opponent, which would have made it a lot easier for the guy to try to get the yeah, body lock. Yeah, it would have gave him the body lock or, or the big double or yeah. So when you turn that corner, you had the C-clamp, yep. which protects you from me going for the oh, legs yeah. or trying to get all the way around the body. And there's a little small details right there that helped Lorenz out to help with that knockout. Man, devastating knockout. Thank you, man. I appreciate you coming to hang out with us today. Guys, check this guy out on Instagram. It's the Monsoon. Check him out, hit him with the follow. Always been a big fan, man. So I appreciate you being on the show. Thanks for having me, man. Thank you, guys. Check it out. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Throw some comments down below. And of course, turn on all notifications so you know when the next upload is. Peace.